Hello YouTube fans, here again and I figure with the cannibal films why not this one this one was a video nasty but I would say it's more of a big budget of cannibal films what do I mean by big, more of a big budget you've got two well known stars in it and one of them being the Bond girl Ursa Ranzas, that's right Ursa Ranzas in a video nasty um, cannibal film at the time, the cannibal films, as you know, was tossing it in. You had the Man Michelle, The Last Cannibals, and so on. So I decided to do this one with a well-known actress, again, being her sir answers. And um, I remember, right, it's not a bad one, this. It's not a good one. It's all good bits of the jungle. And again, it's your typical jungle adventure film. Again, you get the typical tarot lot. Based on a true story about the Stone Age as a monologue. And then you've got Ursa Ranzas herself. And if I remember rightly, she's looking for a long lost husband. So she's looking for him. They said in this part of the Amazon jungle, he's, he's dead. There's no way in the world he'd make it. But she's determined to find him. So she goes to the Amazon jungle with her and her brother. And they meet this guy on the way. Who definitely knows the jungle. So they go to the jungle to look for her missing husband. And... They're also looking for gold. As the saying goes, who's gold? So there's a bit, I say this more a diet of a jungle adventure. Again, if you see the uncut version, this movie, by the way, they've been going on for the last hour, is the mountain of the Danable Dodge. And I think in other parts of the Kunsa, it goes Savor of the Dodge. I'm not making it up. So the movie Mountain of the Danable Dodge, where can I go with it? I'd say it's an adventure film, I could say. So they're looking for the husband, and I was about to say, word of warning, there's a lot of animal cruelty in this and all, if you're going into the uncut one. And the very, this is actually an extended uncut one, where it's just saw a bit of hard corn set, believe it or not. And if that's not enough, there's a bit where a cannibal is doing something to a pig. I'm not making it up, doing something to a pig, so they say more without getting into trouble. And that's on the uncut version of the Mountain of the Cannibal Dodd. So, as I was about to say, there's good bits where a tap of cobra a snake lands on Ursa answers and his die saves her. And there's a die on the way, it's a bit like an artillerist at Bensera. I think it's a bit wooden compared to the one who's going to be the main, who I thought, I say again, thought was going to be the main character. So, in the jungle, they meet this die on the way, the meek affiliates of these people. The buffer is having anky panky with this guy's wife. This cannibal comes in, spears him, and the the die hangs himself. And basically, the die doesn't do fuck off. There's a bit in the jungle again where the cannibal comes out, cuts his die's fucking head off, takes his ears and answers. But then, for some reason, like I say, the good die comes out and saves the day. And that's when he comes into it. Again, a lot of animal cruelty. It's all made up like wildlife. Like there's a bit with a big tap of gold or a snake. He's eating a monkey. Bit of traffic. Um, so there's a lot of animal cruelty in this as well. Just like most of the cannibal films. So to cut the story short, you've got a bit of music halfway through it. There's a bit where a chocolate bites his dime, bites his arm off, drags him in water and kills him. And it's a good hour of your time, it's a bit fancy, you know what I mean? It goes at a good pace. So the timing up and this waterfall, the man who I thought was going to be the main character, this was a soccer, even when I first saw this, he injured himself halfway through chasing one of the cannibals. And he's going to be out for the waterfall, and he uses his head, the buffer lets him fall, and he falls to his death. It was like a sock puppet back then. So the main character, who's also a well-known actor, he falls to his death. And the one, I, the one who I thought was going to be the one who'd probably get killed, I thought was a bit wooden, the one who's snogging nurse her answers, he becomes the main lead. And if anyone who used to fancy the arse of her her answers when she was back in her day day, this is the film where she strips off. Not just once, but loads of times. She sold her tits, a fucking bus, her arse. You name it, she sells it. Say it again. You name it, she sells it in this film. 
So they're going into the Tave and they find these body parts all rotting, all horrible. They find the gold. And there's a bit where I meant by food gold because the cannibals come in. And what they did was they used to bait people because told to them, what the fuck is told? They actually like go out on a shopping spree. They use that to trap people and have them as their prisoners. So they're going to have food. The buffers in it, it has to do the better of one of the cannibals. He gets speared and dies. And they're taken home to the Tave. Urza and his finds her husband, who's a rotting tops. And they've got him stuck on his thing, and they've got a dark carrot out. And then they fizzle up for gold, stuck into his chest, and they think he's a dod. His Urza is a rotting fucking tops. They don't kill Urza Anzus, they think she's some sort of queen or something. But there's a bit in it, if anyone who's fancy the arse of Urza Anzus, you're never going to like this film. She's stripped naked, they put the paint in her body, they eat stuff, you see her tits, you see her buffs, you see all that. Beautiful, bit of fun, very nice. A bit like, this is where it does get a bit nasty though, because halfway through the film, it's, it's a jungle at Fencer film. i say it again. Jungle at Fencer film, but they get the bit where they kill the buffer, right? And you see him cutting him up, pulling his insides out, the usual cannibal shit. There's a bit where they're killing snakes and they're ripping it and they're biting into it. You've got this little fucking dinky winky little cannibal who's laying into the fucking main character. And this is a bit where you get a bit of bonking in it. And in the uncut one, I already said it, you've got a cannibal doing something to a pig, so the same more. Use it to your own imagination. And um, that's what I mean. On the uncut one, there's a lot more in it. There's a bit where the girl's tied up in her hands. And you think this cannibal's going to save her. He doesn't. He tries to rape her. Um, I have to say, it's not like most films. The cannibal's coming in the nick of time. And you've got the chief cannibal. I'm assuming it's the chief. And he cuts his dingling off. I'm not making it up. Jaffic, you see it, it's in your face. He literally cuts his fucking dingling off. And it's like, what the fuck? And if you remember on the uncut one, Ursa answers, the cannibal's trying to get her to stab into him a bit more, and she gets the knife and she actually stabs the chief of the cannibals. Not making it up. She literally stabs the chief cannibal in the chest and kills him. And then they tie her up next to a dead husband. <laughs> What in a way? It definitely gets fucked up by that bit. You got the little weird little cannibal again. He's trying to lay into the main character. He's stabbing into him with a little knife. Only cutting him. He's not killing him. And the guy snaps. He uses his legs, kicks the fucker, and he bashes his head in. Which is good for him because he gets a knife, breaks out, sneaks out, gets his hands out of dodge, and they sneak out of the tave. It's always one of it's the same tave they used in. One day before being the Lost Cannibal World or Jungle Water Tours, because it does look very similar. Whether it's the same tape, it's a different story. So they get out, they're jumping on this water, a cannibal comes out, he passes his fucker's head in, those are his answers to get on this piece of wood, the sail off, happy ending. So it's not a bad film, this one. It's not a bad film. You get past some of the dory bits and some of the animal cool death, these typical cannibal films. I say this one's more to looks. It's more of it definitely is more of a jungle at fencer film. Before they all got even more traffic and more nasty. So for that one, I'll give it a three star rating. I think Ursula Ancest does a good role. There's a bit which comes off being bitter when you find out she's not looking for her husband. She's looking for gold and she uses people. Um but it's still a good film. I think the the surprise that one of the guys you think could be the main character fell to his doom it must have been definitely surprising for that error. And I do like the guy who becomes a little bit. Yeah, he's a bit wooden at first, but as he goes on, he definitely he's acting his pericopal. His pericopal. So this one, again, there's a lot of good use of the jungle, a real jungle. It feels like an offensive film, goes at a good place. I say it's a stylish one for the video, nasty error, and especially for the, the cannibal error. So into them people, three star rating, be smart, be safe, and I'll see you later.